Hello and welcome to another little bit of positive balance in an uncertain world with Therapy Ted and me. And if you're wondering if he's looking a little bit cleaner, well his little jacket is looking a little bit cleaner because that's just been in the wash and don't tell him that he's going in the wash tomorrow. A bit of an exciting journey. So um, he's been working quite hard of late, doing quite a lot of obviously a lot more online work than usual. So yes, he's going in the wash tomorrow. Uh, so today we have a, we don't as much have an issue, but we do have a kind of a heading, which is to do with the coronavirus. Um, but we need to put the balance in place first, and then I'll talk about what the sort of overall heading is as, as I go on. So Therapy Ted is ready to go. And it's a quantum kinesiology balance. Um, we do have energy permission to hold the emotional stress release points with the Cosbats and these are going to be on the heart chakra and the caps are facing up so heart chakra to do with um you know obviously your emotions and your feelings um but also to do with the physical heart energy and the circulatory um system as well um and as we've been hearing in you know the media um circulatory system seems to be quite key um for uh, surviving the coronavirus having having a really good um circulatory system a robust circulatory system seems to be quite important so our first harmonic is an original trigger and it's virus and then the second harmonic is a survival mechanism and this is overactive instincts um, this is actually to do with a lack of trust so i think there's an awful lot of um misinformation and not quite knowing where we are and different people are behaving in different ways and for those of us who maybe have an element of not being quite so trusting that's becoming more heightened and that creates more stress and that's not good at the moment so we do need to be a little bit more trusting that if we put ourselves in the right position and the universe has our back then we will be all right. I know that's easier said than done. Um, our next harmonic is detox chemicals. We didn't need to find out if there's any specific chemicals there. Um, we then have drain inflammatory residues. Now that's quite important. Oh. And as you can see, a lot of energy, a lot of energy with that one, even though I actually put that in place a few minutes ago. So we've got drain inflammatory residues um, because what we're actually going to be talking about a little bit today is the virus and what we're finding out about it. Then we've got the final harmonic, which is an ancestral healing. And this is repeating events. So again, we've spoken about this in the past that Obviously, you are awash with loads of ancestral healing because you've got loads of ancestors and they've there'll be events that have been repeating throughout your life. So um, but they had as well. And then you get sort of a bit like a double whammy, a triple whammy of the same sort of emotions, the same sort of react body reactions. Sometimes you react in a way and you think that doesn't, that's not really me. Um, and it's probably because you've had so many ancestors all react in one particular way and your body just kind of went, oh, that's how we react. So that's everything in place as far as the um, harmonic uh, as a concerned. So Therapy Ted will sit here with those and he will get going, which is great. Pop him just there. And um, we will just have a little bit of a chat about what we're actually thinking about when we're talking about the coronavirus and how we can be more robust um, if it does kind of hove into view. We are now seeing that it isn't just a respiratory system problem. It is actually what they're calling a multi-system um, problem. So the virus attacks more than one system it doesn't just attack the respiratory system in fact they're not sure if that's where it goes first you know or whether that's just one of the systems 
it seems to go for the the blood um, it seems to be damaging the blood so for people who have conditions which already lead them to have blood conditions they are obviously far more prone or not so much blood conditions but maybe their blood their cells in their blood are a little bit more weakened maybe because of their conditions now we know that anybody who is obese anybody who has diabetes these all, all these people seem to have more weaknesses in this area i don't quite understand the science exactly behind that um, but what i do know is that the more inflammation you have in your body the harder your body can do can, has to work to handle anything that kind of comes your way so today while this balance is working through and we don't have anything particular to think about today i'm just going to explain a little bit about inflammation how it works in the body and what we can do about bringing that down some of which you may already know and some of which may be new um, but sometimes a refresher is always good so there's an inflammatory reaction in the body uh, when anything when your body gets damaged in any way and that can be internal or external so you could have an injury the body is damaged the body creates inflammation as a way of making sure that the injury site is clean and that healing takes place at a good pace so that's perfectly normal and that also happens on the inside so if we have an injury on the inside then that happens if the body has something if it inhales something or it ingests something that it it doesn't like it can also set up an inflammatory um, response anybody who has hay fever who has any of the kind of allergens um, will know that at certain times of the year they are worse and that is because their body is inhaling a pollen or of some kind that the body is seeing as a problem. Now, for those of you who don't get hay fever, your body doesn't see that pollen as a problem and your body just handles it like, mm, yeah, that's fine. Mm, no worries about that. But for somebody who does get hay fever, for some reason, their body has seen exactly the same thing and gone, oh my goodness, that's a problem. That's a real problem. That's actually, or even to the point of that's life threatening. And then you get this much more heightened reaction you get more inflammation in the body the body produces more histamine amongst other things now as a one-off this isn't really a major problem the problem comes when this happens over and over and over and over and over and the body can actually end up being inflamed most of the time now when this happens all sorts of other things start getting a problem. So you don't digest your food as well. Your body doesn't process your food as well. Your body doesn't deal with the toxins in your body as well. So all of those things, and that's just the physical stuff. That's just the stuff you're eating and the stuff you're drinking and the stuff that you're breathing in. Now, if we add on to that stress, so if you're stressed, and I know I've mentioned this in previous videos, your body has a reaction to that. It thinks that you are now in danger. And so it will have a reaction. It thinks you're going to have to fight or you're going to have to run away. So it shuts digestion down, it floods the body with adrenaline so that your body is ready to run or to fight because obviously it needs lots of energy to do that. And that's all sent to your muscles. Now, that's okay if it only happens every now and again. But again, if this is happening repeatedly, and maybe you're one of these people that goes, you know, from being relatively calm or a little bit kind of anxious to being completely hyper, then you're probably somebody that it would be a good idea if you could work out a way of just calming that down catch yourself doing it and sort of say no 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 calm everything down calm everything down because that reaction leads your body to have a physical reaction 
okay you go off like a bottle of pop but your body has just flooded itself with adrenaline that creates inflammation so certainly for people who maybe are um, not very well for people who maybe do have health conditions one of the first things that we say is look at your diet look at what you're eating look at what you're drinking and work out how you can clean that up you know become more educated about what foods are good for the body what foods are not so great for the body now you know a little bit of what you fancy kind of does you good they say and absolutely but only if you're relatively healthy if you're actually really struggling this do you really want to give your body something else to have to deal with so maybe it's about being a bit more inventive and finding you know nice treats that maybe aren't loaded with sugar maybe aren't processed you know maybe don't come in a packet from Cadbury's just say other chocolates are available um so or at least if you do limit how many you have and just sort of see how your body if you can be aware of how your body reacts to that okay so that's food and drink you know try and make if you're not quite sure about what you should be eating what you should be drinking just let me know and maybe i'll do a video about what a kind of a sort of a regular clean um, healthier diet is for myself i know that if i'm feeling pretty okay then i allow myself you know the odd kind of little snack and indulgence and things like that if i'm feeling a bit stressed if i'm feeling a bit under the weather if i've been working very hard then i'll clean my diet up and there were there are things that i will take out of my diet just for a few days or even a few weeks just to sort of make sure that i give my body the best chance of kind of kind of coming back from wherever it is into a state of you know good health so we've got food and drink and we've got stress now if you're living in a household with lots of other people who are winding you up at the moment and i do accept that that is the case for a lot of people um you know some people are going a bit stir crazy at the moment um, especially if you are in the category where you're shielding and you really are stuck 24 7 with some other people um, or maybe you're on your own and that is also an issue because you're getting fed up of your own company um, so for those it's looking at what works for you for some people you know if they just move a bit you know maybe you can't go out but maybe doing a bit of yoga a bit of pilates a bit of keep fit um, even just if you can get out going out for a walk and just giving yourself half an hour of a bit of a breather a bit of a break maybe that would be a, a, a kind of a good thing to do you have to work out what's going to work for you now again with kinesiology we could actually do some testing to work out what would be the most effective for you but you probably already know what makes you feel calmer listening to a podcast this morning and a lady was saying that for her if she gets emotional she goes and sews if she gets worried she goes to sew because she knows that she can sew and that calms her down she's creating something and she feels great now has the problem gone away no but she's given herself that space where her brain is focusing on something else something creative something she loves to do and the body can just calm down when she gets into that space. So think about what you can do, things that you love to do. And also recognize that the people around you are also struggling a little bit at the moment. And just sort of, maybe they should be being a bit more tolerant, maybe they should be being a bit kinder, but they're not. So the one person you can change is yourself. And you can change how you react to other people. And maybe you have to count to 10 occasionally. Maybe you have to walk out of the room and take a few deep breaths occasionally and come back in. But you work out what you can do for your body so that you can keep your body healthy, happy and sane at the moment. Um, but this is good, you know, it's good practice for life, generally speaking. Okay, so I think that I've spoken a little bit about those things. If you've got any questions, obviously just leave them in the comments below. Therapy Ted is coming to the end of this now. So yes, he's done, so that's great. So hopefully 
you will have felt a little bit calmer after this, just checking with your body as I ask you to do normally. In fact, if you take three deep breaths at the end of this video, as the closing bit is going, then your body will know that, oh, you want this to settle in and everything is a bit calmer. So we will say goodbye and we will see you um, on Tuesday. And uh, that's it from us, another little bit of positive balance in an uncertain world. Have a lovely weekend.